The revival of the East African community in 1999 continues to pave way for more discussions on the future of the bloc. Already political parties from within member states who attended the Nairobi Forum to discuss the future of the region's political federation generated constructive recommendations deemed necessary for a successful integration. Some of these include the need to amend the ESC treaty to enable the 45 members of the East African Legislative Assembly who directly serve as parliamentarians at the Arusha-based regional assembly be voted into their positions. The group also recommends that partner states review their legislative frameworks and constitutions to ensure adherence to principles of democratic governance and term limits for elective positions. The Minister for East African Affairs, Eria Kategaya, says the recommendations are yet to be reviewed. The, 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 the main recommendation, these are going to be forwarded to the Council of Ministers of Ministers for East Africa, and the, when we meet, we shall look at them, discuss them, and take a position, and then recommend them to the summit, as you, the big council. Supporters of the integration believe that the successes already made in the regional integration process are crucial for the achievement of a solid regional bloc. The theme of East African community is clear that one people, one destiny. That means we should be one out of all these countries. We should have similar policies, similar laws, similar bills. But how shall we have that? We're also looking at harmonization of standards issues related to quality infrastructure because others are key areas that contribute to um, high costs of doing business and Uganda being a landlocked country, those are key areas we need to focus on in order to address and reduce transport and related costs. This brings the dream to having one East African regional bloc a step closer to reality. Moses Walgembe, UBC News, Kampala.